Hello, I hope you're doing well. I am super excited because I have a stationery haul video. Those of you who have been around for a while know that about once a year I do a bigger stationery haul just to quote unquote do some market research, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just buy a few things that I have been eyeing and kind of treat myself. So um, this is going to be a bit of a collective haul. I do tend to buy from the same few vendors every year just because I know what I like. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. This package is from Wonder Pens and this package is from Jet Pens. And I have a few other things coming in as well. All right, let's start with Jet Pens. I actually don't really remember what's in this box. I have an X-Acto knife, literally a five second walk away. And I probably could have gotten it using this time I'm explaining that, but I, I refuse to get up. So I'm gonna struggle today with this pair of scissors. Oh, it's two things. Ah, now I remember. I got three sheets of stickers. This first one is the Daily Like Poodle Sheet. I thought this was super cute. I love getting these sort of like sillier stickers because it forces me to just like have fun with my planners and journals. And going along with the silly theme, we have the Midori Monsters, I think. Yeah, these are the Monster Doodles. And I think these are just so, so, so cute. I believe they're clear, so um, it works with really any planner. And then these are the animal activities. Bear, fox, penguin, cat, squirrel, just a bunch of fun things. And again, I like getting these because it just makes my spreads look more fun. So a few more to add to my collection. I got four new Tombow dual brush pens. Um, I am slowly building my collection and getting some colors that I feel like is missing from all of the ones that I typically use. So let's do some swatches. I will do some swatches in my Hobonichi Cousin. Okay, the first one is 847, which is crimson. Wow, that is a gorgeous red. I got a red because whenever I do like Christmas spreads, I never have a nice red. Three, four, six, which is sea green. I really felt like I was missing a blue green, so this is just perfect. Then we have four, four, three, which is turquoise. And then lastly, I got 533, which is Peacock Blue. Love, love, love all of these colors. Um, as you can see, I got a few darker ones because I tend to get pastel colors and um, I need more dark colors in my collection. Okay, so there's that. The next item that I got is a little bit silly. This is the Midori Eraser Dust Mini Cleaner. And I believe it's kind of like, like when you erase things, it picks up the dust. Little eraser shavings. Um, oh, I have to go for an appointment soon. Okay, let me see if I can quickly figure this out. Oh my gosh. Do you see? <laughs> that is so cute. I don't have any eraser dust. Um, but I have this like dried uh, flower petal, so let's see if it'll pick it up. Oh my gosh, it picked it up. That, <laughs> that is the funniest thing. Oh my gosh. Did I need this? No, but okay. This just made me so, so, so happy. Okay. And then the last thing, I'm sorry, I cannot hold in my laughter. Okay, 
The last thing that I got is the Diatramentis Document Ink in the color red. You guys know I always use my Leonardo Memento Magical Fountain Pen with the Diatramentis Document Ink in black. And it is my favorite combo of all time. Um, but I wanted to get a red just because uh, I do a lot of annotations and I thought having a nice red would be good. So let's do a little swatching um, with my glass dip pen. This looks very bright and I would not want to get this anywhere. Oh my goodness. I'm still trying to get the hang of using glass pens. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is exactly what I was looking for. Holy moly. Um, I'm so excited for this. It's the perfect red. I'm very, very pleased about this. And I think just in general, the Detrimentis document inks are just perfect. Um, especially if you are just looking for classic black, red, blue colors. They have a bunch of other ones too. So that is everything that I got from Jet Pens. I also have the Wonder Pens package to open up, but again, I have an appointment soon, so I will come back later today to film. All right, I am back from the appointment. Um, whew, a little bit out of breath. Let's get back into the haul. So with all of the Wonder Pens orders, they always include a gorgeous, gorgeous postcard, and I'm always excited to see um, what the picture is. And then I got, I believe, again, three, yeah, three sheets of stickers. These are super cool. So this one is the, I believe this is a Mind Waves 6 p.m. sheet. I'm sorry, I'm not too sure. It's just a bunch of tiny stickers of people and trees, nature, everything that I love. And I think this will make a really nice spread. And then these two are very similar. These are also from Mindwave. And this one is the Dragon Happiness Invitation. And this one is Bird and Moon. I got this one because it is the year of the dragon, which is my year. So I thought this would be fun to make a few spreads with. And this one, I just thought it was pretty and I like the swans and ducks and all of that. So yeah i then got this tiny tiny rhodia notepad this is number 12 and the reason why i got this is i just wanted to carry it with me on the go um this would literally fit in my jacket pocket so i thought this would be perfect for that and then this isn't stationary but i thought this was just too cool this is a very thick um, book titled Chinese Calligraphy and this covers 214 essential characters. Looks like there is an introduction and then it just goes through a bunch of different characters. I am Chinese but I was born in Japan because my dad got his PhD in Japan and we moved there. Um, and my dad always told me that he always wanted to pursue Chinese calligraphy as his just like passion, but because, you know, he needed a job, um, he decided to study chemistry and that's what he got his PhD in. And I don't know, I just saw this, reminded me of my dad and I thought about wanting to connect more with my background. So yeah, anyways. That is what I got from Wonder Pens. I have my small order from Knitting for Olive. This is their merino and the color is fennel seed. And I plan on knitting a lace camisole, like the perfect dainty tank top for spring and summer. I might be a little bit too ambitious because I have never done anything with lace before and this pattern looks a little complicated but um we will see how things go and i will definitely keep you updated and then i also have a small order um i think this was yeah so this is for my friend planner monkey co and i ordered it during her seven year shop anniversary and 
um, I know this is like unrelated, but I have known Sydney since I was in high school at the Michaels craft store um, nearby. There used to be like a planner, local planner gathering. She used to drive me to and from that gathering back when I was like 15 or 16 years old. And we have always remained in touch. Um, and then she of course opened her own shop. And now that we're both like shop owners, we text each other regularly, like asking for advice and stuff. So anyways, that's a little story. So first up we have this card. Life is a balance between holding on and letting go. I love that. I think her anniversary theme was like growth and like greenish. Uh. Okay, it also comes with this card that says, thank you, Helen. I will say she always includes extras for me, so I didn't order everything here, but ooh, we also have some freebies. Let's open this up. This is a super pretty sampler from Graceful Muse Papery. Katie makes stickers. I actually met her in Orlando. Ooh, a little washi sample. And then this sampler from Lovely Ink. Then we have this little vinyl. This matches the, the card. Then we have these currently reading stickers. I believe I ordered this one. This is on transparent paper. These are tiny... Uh, Oh, there's an invoice. This is the tiny sheet of a camera doodles. I thought this would be nice for marking when I post on Instagram. These are Netflix TV doodles. I canceled my Netflix subscription sometime last year and then I restarted it. Um, so yeah. And then I thought this was perfect for me. These are coffee IV doodles because lately I've been going a little bit crazy with the coffee. If you consistently watch my channel, you would know that I have tried to cut coffee many times and I have failed many times, so yeah. And then I ordered, I believe, two rolls of washi, Bliss and Meadow, which I honestly don't know which one's Bliss and which one's Meadow. So I think she included two extra ones, but these are some gorgeous, gorgeous washi tapes. Um, this like leafy one, this beautiful floral, this grid, and then these like planter doodles. Love it so, so, so much. And then lastly, I did not order this. This is super cool. She has her own scrunchie with her little doodles on it, which is so cool. Um, I always have my hair up, especially when I'm exercising. So this is perfect. So um, thank you so much, Sydney. And thank you so much for watching this haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.